Okay, so in this project, I want to show a little detail of what you need to look out for. This looks completely benign. What we're talking about here on the floor looks completely benign. In fact, the homeowner said, what? What's the problem? Well, we said, we think it might have asbestos in it. And we hoped it didn't, but guess what? It did. Come here, Mia. Come here, be a star. Yeah. So Mia did not want to, did not think there was a problem at all. But as you can see, it's a, it's a, a layer of paper that was used as an underlayment. It's kind of thick, but it covers over the plywood that was originally in the older home. Now, it's not a problem if we leave it, but if we start taking it up, not knowing what it's composed of, then we could have a problem with making this what's called friable. If you make it friable or you combust it, and you get it into a dust or you pulverize it or sand it, then it's harmful. Asbestos can be harmful under those situations, but not if you leave it alone. So we're gonna probably leave this one alone and just go right over it with our hardy backer board and screw that down really well, use an adhesive, and then we can just completely ignore it. It's not gonna deteriorate underneath something else. It'll be just fine. So that's what we're gonna do, but you do need to know what you're working with. Otherwise, you could be exposing your clients to harm or your employees to harm by tearing this up, shredding it, scraping it, sanding it, grinding it, any of that could be very dangerous. And just so you know, it's about it getting it into the nasal passages. It's not about getting it into your hands and eating it. You could swallow asbestos, it wouldn't hurt you. It's very much like sand, but if it gets into the lungs, it will not get out of the lungs. So we follow all those safety protocols and it's for everybody's protection. We're EPA certified, so we can do that. And that's what you want to look for when you have someone in your home. Right, Mia?